looking at climate change mitigation. The risk is of land clearance for food and biofuels, deforestation, wetland drainage still going on in many parts of the world. So we need good land stewardship and we need integrated solutions. Don't just think about carbon, think about nitrogen, phosphorus supply, water. Um, all these things need to be brought in to come up with sustainable agricultural systems. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I think I get the questions here directly. Uh, you and Joe. Thank you very much. Uh, <coughs> we all know uh, about this unique uh, series of uh, measurements we have in, in Rotham Central with these grass plots for whatever it is, 140 years now. Or uh, there was one treatment I missed, uh, and maybe it's a treatment that is kind of interest when you look at yield. Uh, you showed that there was uh, uh, no manure applied, there was MPK applied, and there was manure applied. Yes. But there was not a combination of MPK and manure. No. Which, for, uh, from a yield point of view, normally in 90% of the cases turn out to be the best treatment. That yes. in tropical soils. Yes. And I assume also in temperate soils. How could you speculate what would be the underground effect on biomass if you did combine the two? Can you? Well, we do have a treatment on broad book that gets manure and some extra fertilizer in spring, but we have not made extensive measurements on that soil in terms of looking at uh, the changes in carbon or the changes in the, the biomass in the soil, but we could do it. Um, in, uh, we would recommend that returning the manure, recycling the manure, plus fertilizer where it's needed it is the best way to manage uh, the manure, to utilize it effectively, but with an understanding that it will never be able to supply the exact amount of nitrogen that the crop needs. Uh, so you need to combine the two. The problem is that applying manure as we apply it in very large amounts and probably generally because the 